Derek said very quickly, so I'll try very quickly. So we've heard so far about Google Analytics, how you can harness the power of that tool to look at your site to make improvements to your ad campaigns. But now let's look a little bit further. Let's look at your competitors. Let's look at your industry. And let's look at your site itself. But also more importantly, let's look at your consumers. The important question is, what are the current trends? And how can you use knowledge of these trends to optimize, to improve your website and your ad campaigns? Let me introduce you to Mr. X. So Mr. X has a car dealership. And he's got all these questions about his site, about his ad campaigns. He wants to know, is his site good enough? Um, how should he spend his ad budget? Where should he put his money? And these are questions that Mr. X has asked. And we might have asked ourselves the same questions. Questions about your site, questions about your campaign. And most importantly, what are people talking about? And we have tools, and these are free tools that we have that you can use to actually tap into the trend, identify the trend, do some research, and then kind of find the core of the trend and see how it applies to your industry. So recently, there's been a lot of news about the Toyota Prius recalls. And so our Mr. X is in the industry. He's very interested, and, and frankly, he's a little concerned. So he hears about these things, but he doesn't know how important is this. So he looks at the events that have happened. So over the last two months especially, a lot of things about floor mats and gas pedals going wrong. Everyone's getting really nervous. So Mr. X starts by trying to identify the trend. And we have two tools, Web Timeline and Wonder Wheel. And both these tools you can access from your Google search results page. So I've done a search here for Toyota Recall. Now, if you look at the top here, it will actually say, it will say um, show options. And you click on that little link there, and this menu bar magically appears. Right? Go down to your timeline, and you can see that I've done a search for Toyota Recall. And I can see all the kinds of news and, and web content that corresponds with that. And there's a huge spike in January, in February. And this is the time when the Prius recalls were happening. So my Mr. X now is seeing, oh, there's kind of a trend here, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to start searching for related words. He searches Toyota. He searches hybrid cars. And he sees, again, there's a corresponding spike. So the whole concern was about the safety of the cars. And he types in his query, safe cars. And again, people are obviously very interested. And now he's starting to think, car safety. You know, I'm, I'm selling cars. I'm always talking about how great my car is, how fast it goes. Maybe I can start talking about what people care about now, which is the safety of the car. So, but he's still not convinced. So he decides to research even further, trying to find the trend. He uses the Wonder Wheel, which is, uh, anyone use the Wonder Wheel? OK, cool. So, it's the same place you can find it. I type in my query, which is car safety, and it's kind of like a mind map. So car safety appears, and related searches appear around it. So my Mr. X has clicked then on car safety features, clicking further on smart car safety features. And then something gets his interest here. He sees that people are also searching for YouTube content. In this case, about smart car crash tests. So people want to see crash tests on YouTube because they're all concerned now about their safety. And then he starts thinking, so perhaps I can put something up on YouTube too. So he goes into YouTube. He searches for Toyota. And one of the, con one of the videos that he sees is the president of Toyota apologizing. And, and just to let you know, I took this screen grab four days after the video was posted, and already it was almost 20,000 views. So that's the huge reach of YouTube. So my guy, Mr. X, is looking at this. And then he starts to realize that YouTube is not just a channel for entertainment. It's not just where you post your cat pictures, your cat videos. Everyone talks about it and puts it on Facebook, and then we all laugh. 
you can actually use it as a platform for testing your TV commercials, for testing your video ads, and even for testing different kinds of ad messages. So in this case, Mr. X looks at stats and data, right at the bottom there, and he sees stats and data for that particular video. And we kind of imagine it's mostly men who are interested in watching things about cars, but we can stop guessing because the demographic data for this video shows it is men. And it shows you where they're coming from. They're coming from the US, from Australia, from India. And in the middle part here, this is quite interesting. This shows you how other sites and searches are reacting with your YouTube video. Where are people taking it and putting it on? What are the searches that have led to people watching this video? So now Mr. X is getting kind of a good idea of where he should target his campaign. You know, these are the countries, this is the, the gender group. And also he's thinking, for example, the first result there, this is not first result, the first link there, it's autos.aol.com. So AOL has taken this video and put it on their site. And Mr. X is thinking, perhaps I can do a partnership with AOL where they can refer traffic to my site. Or perhaps I can start placing my ads on AOL because people are interested in the same kind of content. So then Mr. X is really enterprising. He goes, I can see so much from someone else's video. Let me put my own stuff up. And he has a TV commercial. He hasn't, you know, added yet. He's not sure who to target. He puts up his video and he sees a lot more data. Again, he sees where people are coming from who are watching this video. He can see visits to the page. And he knows it's mostly men. But now he can see that it's mostly men from the ages of 24 to 44 who are interested in watching his content. And this part is really cool. So this tracks the hot spots in your video. You know, is it hot? Which parts are people rewinding and watching again? Which parts are people dropping off at? And for someone like Mr. X who owns this car dealership, perhaps he has eight brands of cars. He can put them all in one commercial and see where the interest is. So again, it helps him now to target. It's helping him find his audience and is using it basically as a research tool to help him with his ad campaigns. So now he's done, you know, he's found the trend, he's done his uploads on YouTube, and he has a search campaign going on as well. But he's not really sure what keywords should I use. He goes into insights for search, he puts in a search term, and he can filter according to geographical area, according to time periods. In this case, it's put in Toyota Prius. And by now, it's not a surprise to see the spike happening again at the same time, because that's where all the interest is. But Mr. X is not sure. Maybe it's something specific to Toyota. So what does he do? He does a category search for the automotive industry and sees that while there are declines, there are spikes. In general, the trend is going up. So there is an online interest, an online audience for his industry, and he can put his ad money there. Further down the page, he goes and he sees where people are searching from. And he also sees search terms that people are using. So all these search terms at the bottom, he can put them into his ad campaign. As for where people are coming from, Perhaps Mr. X is trying to, you know, he's got unfortunately limited budget and he has the whole world to target. So he sees from here that, okay, the Netherlands is where I want to target. So that's where I put my ad money. Okay, so he's done his research, he's uploaded his videos. Now he wants to get to the core. And this whole trend was around Toyota. He goes to trends for websites types in toyota.com, and what he sees is traffic to toyota.com. Again, even though it's, sorry, anyone from Toyota? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, it just occurred to me. <laughs> so he sees there's a lot of traffic going to toyota.com, even though the news has not been good. But more than that, he can also see other sites that people who visit toyota.com are visiting as well. They're going to Nissan and Mazda. Now, if Mr. X 
has Nissan and Mazda cars in his dealership, he can start thinking perhaps on his side. He can start talking more about Nissan, about Mazda, about how safe these cars are, they're great to drive. Or if he doesn't, and people are visiting these sites, perhaps he can go to Nissan and Mazda and see what is it about their sites that is so compelling that everyone is visiting them. And then take that content and adapt it to his own site. So he's done all this research, he knows stuff, but he wants to go down even deeper and do like a real serious profile. Again, he goes to Ad Planner now and types in toyota.com. This time, he doesn't only see traffic to toyota.com, he sees lots of other information like reach, uh, page views, how long are people staying on the site. He investigates further, again, he sees other sites that people are visiting, and then there's the Nissan.com again. So he's like, okay, Nissan is something I should be exploring here. And very interesting, at the bottom here, you have domains and pages within Toyota.com that are kind of getting the most interest. And the first one there is the press room at Toyota.com. So the insight he now gets, that Mr. X gets, is that people don't just want to buy cars, they want to read. They want to know that it's safe, you know, it's not going to explode, I'm going to be safe in my car. And then there are a few things he can now start doing. Perhaps on his own site, he can start putting up reviews and articles about car safety, road safety, trying to get people to feel better about buying a car. He can also do something else, he can start changing his ad messaging. Perhaps for the last six months, it's all been about, you know, buy my car and get great leather upholstery free. Or, you know, buy the car now and don't pay for three months. But now he's trying to tap into the trend and he's thinking, I should say something like, uh, test drive our cars and see how safe they feel. You know, read about safety measures we put into our industry. And also he can start introducing new things into his site. For example, he might try a forum page where he invites drivers to you know, share about car safety or defensive driving. Or if he's thinking about ideas for promotions, he might say, okay, you know, submit your great safe car design and I'll give you a free car. It could happen. <laughs> right. And then the thing is, again, Mr. Rex is a very skeptical guy. He's a businessman. He doesn't want to make the wrong decisions. And he's wondering, perhaps the trend really is specific to Toyota.com. So what does he do? Using App Planner, he puts in four other car manufacturer sites. And they all show a spike in traffic to their sites at the same time, in Jan, in Feb. So he's feeling good. Basically, news, whether good or bad, to someone else in your industry is going to affect you. And if it's bad news for them, it's probably a great opportunity for you. So, we have the six free tools, and we go back to the questions that we asked at the very beginning, and using these tools, we address them. And our Mr. X comes out the champ in the auto industry, because now he knows the trends, he knows how to do research into his site, into related sites, how to improve the content of his site, as well as changing his ad messaging, finding placements, finding potential partners. With all this, what does he do? He applies it. And I want to show you a real example. I didn't Photoshop this. I typed in Toyota Safety Recall and Toyota Prius Recall, and I have two sponsored ads. The first one reads, Toyota Recall, safety is our priority. Jermaine Toyota will fix your gas pedal. And the second one goes, Toyota Prius Recall. Jermaine Toyota takes care of its customers. Schedule your service. So this guy doesn't sell cars. He sells a service but he's using the opportunity to drive traffic to his site as well. So thank you very much. Do try out the six tools, and once you've done that, do use analytics to track your success. Thank you.